We are in the midst of uh, talking to Ray Kaplan from Kaplan Law Firm about loan forgiveness. Student loan payments resume October 1st. The interest already started accruing. Yep. Is that correct? Yes. And so the other thing that I really wanted to talk about is the new payment plan that was just passed through committee and pretty much everybody is eligible for. So this is called the SAVE plan. So there are income-driven repayment plans. SAVE plan is a new income-driven repayment plan. And essentially what it does is it lowers your payment by at least 50%. So if your payment was 500 bucks, now it'll be about $250 per month. And it provides a 100% interest subsidy, meaning your student loan is now a 0% interest loan. Wow. What? Yep. How, wait, yep. how does that happen? That's right. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> yep, it's okay. big. It's really big because what happens is when you have federal student loans, let's say you're in a 20-year payment plan and you're making payments, let's say, under an income-based payment plan, it's 100 bucks a month. Well, interest still accrues on that loan, so your $200,000 loan balance at the end of that 20 years- It's going to be bigger. It's going to be much bigger. Your loan balance is going to grow. Then you're going to get the loans forgiven by operation of law. Then you get taxed on that loan forgiveness. So loans that are forgiven, for the most part, are considered taxable income. Wow. So in 20 years, they would send a 1099 to the IRS and say, Joe got an additional $250,000 in income this year, and you have to pay income taxes oh on that, goodness. right? So we call that the tax bomb. So what's nice about this new income-based repayment plan is that interest is frozen the whole 20 years that you're in that payment plan, 20, 25 years. And so then at the end, you know that your loan balance hasn't grown and ballooned. So if you do have to pay taxes on the loan forgiveness, it's just on that original loan balance. <laughs>